All right, so uh, we're going to go over the use of the updater plugin in this video for the delay sweeps generator. So what I've done is I have gone in, and if I can get my shortcuts working here, uh, what you doing? There we go. All right, uh, I have gone in and patched in 20 VL2500s, uh, 10 on each truss, in place of where my seven Vipers per truss were before and then I have cloned them over. Now, the issue is, first off, two issues. Since your uh, presets that have been created have been locked, unless you ran the unlock macro that's used for uninstalling, uh, the cloning's not going to work anyways because it can't update the preset. Um, but regardless of that, your positions are all kinds of screwed up because it's not cloning one-to-one, -one, obviously, so a suite from what used to be left to right is going to be scattered everywhere. So to accommodate for this, I mean we can check real quick, just take a look, let's do all, yeah, so it's all kinds of weird right now. So to deal with this, instead of having to rebuild our layout that we have created already and having to redo all this, all we have to do is run the updater plugin. So let's go over here. Uh, inside of it there is a user config section again. Uh, not as many options. You can change. Uh, you can apply user wings if you didn't have them before. Change your preset types if you so choose, uh, and the options to go with that. Uh, but it's going to use the exact same amount of times that it had before, uh, as well as uh, whatever other settings were in there. Uh, and obviously, there's no new positions of uh, presets to create because it's going to update your existing presets. So, with all of that in mind. Uh, First, we're going to want to make our new rows, so let us go and create a new layout, and actually, to aid in this, let's just go ahead and give ourselves a camera view that will speed that way the hell up. So let's get a downward look at here. Alright, that'll come into play in a minute. Alright, so let's go to our layout, let's scroll down, make a new one. Right off. Alright, so we need our new set of spots. I'm just going to grab all my 2500s and all of my washes, which is all I have on the trusses. Store them here. Let's grab them all and use a camera view to arrange them. Bring these guys down out of the way just a bit. I think positive is down with MA. Yeah, cool. So here's our mid-stage truss, here's our upstage truss, and so let's create ourselves a new mid-stage group. Uh, again, we can scroll through. Why are my damn shortcuts working today? Huh. Oh, it doesn't look like... Uh, my next button is going to work. Oh, previous works. Oh, what the fuck. Okay. Well, I don't know. Anyways, so we've got our selection here. Uh, so let's go ahead and store a new row group. Let's store it down here. Let's go ahead and delete the mid-stage and upstage group we're not going to use. Keep everything put together. Again, that's why it's kind of smart to label your shit, because you don't have random group numbers. Alright, now you're starting to get on my nerves. Alright, shortcut said fuck you today. Alright, there's our next set. Again, things. If we go backwards first, it's working. Alright, so anyways, we know our order is good. So let's go ahead and store that here. And with that, uh, we have our, our new grooves. We're starting at 160, going to 163 this time, so we should be ready to go. I wonder if that might have fixed it. All right, so let's head over to our updater plugin. There we go. All right, so we have our groups ready. Now that we've created our new layout, uh, let's go ahead and hit update. Uh, we're just keeping our original user config, so go 
with that. And our first group number is 160. Same thing as before. Just enter all your group numbers and hit enter without anything when you're ready to go. It updates all your shit. And then we can head over to our handy dandy little layout page. And if that worked any better than shortcuts are, we will see. Yeah, let's go inside out. Oh, well, I guess you should. You probably want to see it. Uh, we see that our sweeps are now working again as expected. And uh, yeah, so there's the updater plugin. Uh, but yeah, uh, basically just something to use in the event that you cloned your rig. You got a whole specific setup, especially if it's in a more convoluted thing. If it's in a big color chase thing instead of just for cues, might speed up a little bit. Uh, that way you don't have to rebuild things. So, uh, there's that. Enjoy. Uh, hit me up. My email is in the description if you have any questions, any suggestions, anything for future plugins, uh, or for this plugin, or for previous ones, or whatever. And uh, stay subscribed. Hopefully, I'll have some new stuff up for you guys soon. And like I said in the previous video, uh, be sure to check in in the Dropbox folder every now and then. Uh, there are things that I'll post that I won't necessarily have time to make a video for, so check in for that, and see you later.